Hey guys, welcome back to 42 Pros. And again, thanks for watching our content. Uh, today is gonna to be a short and sweet tutorial on how to find some audio problems. And uh, yeah, that's the number one step to, to fixing your audio is finding out exactly what's going on with it so you can actually take care of it. So uh, what I will be doing um, is doing a screen capture of what I'm doing in Final Cut so you can see exactly all the steps that I will be taking uh, in order to get to that solution to where we can actually find that problem and then start working on it, all right? We won't actually do a full tutorial on how to process the audio and fix everything. It's just gonna be a short and sweet little video on how to find your problems. And for the most part, I'm sure some of you guys out there, if not most, if not all really, can figure out how to use the EQ button and uh, really mix it out and work on the issues there. But here we go. All right, so you can see I have Final Cut pulled up. What we will do is hit Command-5 to pull up the effects browser then select all for the audio and then the channel EQ we will click and drag that down in there. And uh, you can either select the, the clip that you're wanting to adjust and put the effect on and double click the effect, or you can click and drag. And as you can see, I got it right here in the effects portion of the audio in the uh, inspector browser or inspector window. I have a compressor on it already, a isotope, the noiser which takes out a lot of that hissing noise and that noise floor which if you don't know about isotope i'll definitely put a, a link in the description below so you can go check them out they have phenomenal phenomenal audio software uh, that you uh, definitely need to learn how to use and actually purchase so um, i'm thinking about getting rx7 here very shortly but anyways so channel eq is applied and so we'll go ahead and hit this effects button so we can bring up the actual parameters and start working on them okay and this is how i actually do it so you can take any of these uh, specific parameters here you don't have to use each parametric uh, band all right just pick one and we'll go with it all right so first i would click and drag it all the way up and get as high as i possibly can okay and then i will take and do the q uh, relatively sharp okay so that way you've got a really nice fine-tuned point of the EQ spectrum that you're affecting all right so now it's a matter of hit and play and then moving through the EQ spectrum slowly and surely then you can hear the issues and once you find it you can go ahead and hit stop Oop. once you find it hit stop and then you can reverse the db effect and voila you have quickly found the issue the problem area and now you have fixed it roughly okay this is not a full tutorial like i said but this is just a quick short and sweet little video on how to actually find it and then manipulate it enough and then you can change the the cue to really fine tune a little bit more and then even more you can go up here to the eq uh, parameters and then you can get the 31 band pulled up and really 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 fine tune adjust what you're trying to get done all right so there you go short and sweet so use that channel eq so you can quickly find and correct that hot spot that's in the audio of all of your videos so that's it guys hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely hit that thumbs up if this is the type of content that you like go ahead and hit that subscribe button also if you've made it this far what did you think of the audio i'm testing out the rode wireless go right now it's clipped on right here and uh, yeah i'll just leave the audio as is i won't process it a whole lot if it's really bad obviously i'll clean it up for you but it shouldn't be too bad at all because I've been getting really, really, really good results using this little, little uh, micro device of, uh, of technology. So, but that's it guys, Till next time, get the gear that's right for you because only you can do your projects. And since we usually only have one chance to get it right, why not just do it right and just do it once. Till next time guys, we'll see you in the next video.